So I have one more quote for you before we end the semester and the course. And this quote is from Simone Weil. Simone Weil uh, was a really fascinating individual, uh, born in uh, about 1904, I believe. Uh, she lived through the First World War and then the Spanish Civil War, born in France. Uh, and then at the, during the breakout of World War II, uh, she and her family moved uh, to America, uh, escaping uh, the, um, uh, the, the Second World War. Uh, and so um, what her quote here, um, I'll go ahead and read it. Uh, Human beings are so made that the ones who do the crushing feel nothing. It is the person crushed who feels what is happening. Unless one has placed oneself on the side of the oppressed to feel with them, one cannot understand. So uh, Simone Weil actually died at a very young age. Um, uh, she died at about 40 uh, during World War II because... Uh, during World War II, she took solidarity with the uh, oppressed, uh, her oppressed countrymen in occupied France, Nazi-occupied France. Uh, and so how she did that is she refused to eat uh, anything except the uh, smallest rations that the French uh, in occupied France were allowed. Uh, and so in this way, uh, she actually ended up dying of starvation of her own will to show solidarity. That's how much compassion and empathy she had, is that she chose to sacrifice herself uh, as a part of uh, her, her empathy with the individual suffering in life uh, at the time. So, as a future clinician, a big part of your job is going to be to empathize with those who come to you. You're not going to be able to treat them successfully unless you understand the pain they're going through. People aren't just machines that need to be fixed. They are individuals with emotion that need to be motivated and need to be cared for. And so in this way, uh, I want to uh, instill upon you the idea that uh, empathy is a critical part of our lives as humans and as your job as a future clinician. Uh, so your patients are going to come to you in their weakest moments at the time of their, um, uh, you know, most uh, um, uh, sensitivity and highest vulnerability. Uh, because of their condition. A lot of people don't go to see their doctor at the first sign of discomfort. They wait uh, until things have gotten beyond what they can bear on their own uh, and beyond what they can admit uh, as far as defeat. So people will be coming to you at their moment of most defeat. It will be a very emotional experience for them. And so you, your job is going to be to meet them at that location of their, uh, of their vulnerability and to work with them uh, to bring them back from that defeated uh, valley that they're in so that they can experience life to the fullest again. So take that as your mission, not to fix a machine, but to bring people back to a fuller experience of existence. Uh, so I hope that uh, considering these things uh, has instilled in you uh, a different way of thinking about your profession, your future profession, and yourselves as humans, as people who will also uh, one day uh, inevitably uh, feel defeat, inevitably be at a position where you have to seek help uh, so you one day will be that patient that needs help. And so because you one day will be that person, uh, you uh, most of all should seek to understand that moment of vulnerability and be compassionate for the people in that position. So thanks for listening and thanks for considering.